issues, but she is competent and she was sane at the time of the offense. But you were eating at Sonic when this happened? I'm not sure, ma'am. I also have mental health issues. And what's the mental health issues? 2-9, State of Texas versus Macy Blair Malone. Right now parties approach and announce for the record for the state. Hank Wilkins for the state, Your Honor. Defense. I'm Al Dapa for Macy Malone. You ready? And are you Miss Malone? Yes, ma'am. Counsel, have you received all the discovery? Yes, Your Honor. And did you review it with your client? Yes, Your Honor. Court will find that the state is in compliance with discovery. Are there any applications on this case? No, Your Honor. Ms. Malone, I'm showing you what's entitled True Bill of Indictment. Did you review that with your attorney? Did you understand it? Yes, Your Honor. Counsel, do you waive the reading of the indictment? Yes, Your Honor. State, are you proceeding on the indictment as presented? Yes, Your Honor. Ms. Malone, I'm showing you what's entitled Court Admonishments and Defendants Waivers and Affidavit of Admonitions. Did you review this with your attorney? Did you understand it? Yes, Your Honor. And did you sign it in all the appropriate places? Yes, Your Honor. Did you understand you're charged with cruelty to non-livestock, torture, et cetera? And that is a third degree felony. Range of punishment is anywhere from two to 10 years in prison and up to a $10,000 fine. Did you understand? Yes, Your Honor. If you have a plea agreement with the state, the court does not have to follow your plea. If for any reason the court does not follow your plea and gives you more than you bargained for, the fact that you entered a plea will not be used against you and you will be allowed to withdraw your plea. Did you understand? Yes, Your Honor. Did you understand you have a right to jury trial, a right for you or your attorney to cross-examine and confront any witnesses the state would call in the right to remain silent? Yes, Your Honor. Did you understand by entering this plea bargain agreement you were giving up those rights? Yes, Your Honor. And did you intend to give up those rights and enter into a plea in this case? Yes, Your Honor. Counsel, has your client been able to provide you with any defenses? Yes, Your Honor. Do you believe she has a rational as well as a factual understanding of the charges against her? Yes, Your Honor. Do you believe she's currently competent and was legally sane at the time of the offense? Yes, Your Honor. Uh, Ms. Malone, has anyone threatened you, coerced you, or placed you in fear to get you to enter this plea? No, Your Honor. Anyone promised you anything other than the plea? No, Your Honor. Are you satisfied with the way you've been represented? Yes, Your Honor. Are you a U.S. citizen? Yes, Your Honor. The court will find that defendant has knowingly and voluntarily waived her right to jury trial? Showing you the plea bargain page. Did you review that with your attorney? Did you understand it? Yes, Your Honor. According to the plea, punishment is to be assessed at four years in the prison, and there are no applications. Did you understand that to be the plea? Yes, Your Honor. Defense? That is the plea agreement, Your Honor. State? Yes, Your Honor. Showing you the waiver of appeal paragraph. Did you review that with your attorney? Did you understand it? Did you sign it in both places? Yes, Your Honor. Did you understand by signing that you're waiving your right to appeal? The only items that can be appealed are written pretrial motions that have been filed, heard, and ruled upon by the court. Did you understand? Yes, Your Honor. Counselor, have there been any such motions? No, Your Honor. Then to the offense as charged, how do you plead? Guilty, not guilty, or no contest? Guilty. State any evidence? Yes, Your Honor. I offer State's Exhibit 1 in the attachments. Mm -hmm. Any no objection? objection? Any objection? No objection. I'm going to show you what's entitled waiver and consent to stipulation of testimony and stipulations. Did you review that with your attorney? Did you understand it? Did you sign it in all the appropriate places? Yes, Your Honor. Again, did you understand you have a right to jury trial, a right for you or your attorney to cross-examine and confront any witnesses the state would call in the right to remain silent? Yes, Your Honor. Did you understand that today the state will be presenting evidence in the form of witnesses' statements and police reports? Yes, but most importantly, there will be no live testimony. Did you understand? Yes, Your Honor. Court will find that defendant has knowingly and voluntarily waived and consented to stipulation of testimony and stipulations. Court will accept into evidence states exhibits one and attachments and review the same. All right, after reviewing states exhibits one and attachments, the court will find there is sufficient evidence to find you guilty. The court will find you guilty. Are you proceeding with sentencing? Sorry. Yes, Your Honor. If I could just say one thing on the record. Yes. Honor. Um, there were some mental health concerns, but we did have her refer to Carruthers. She was examined for competency and sanity, and both of those have been resolved. All right. So she was deemed to be competent? She, yes, she does have some severe mental health issues, but she is competent and she was sane at the time of the offense. All right. So why are you strangling a two-month-old cat? I'm sorry, Your Honor. No, I mean, I know you're sorry. You're saying you're sorry you did it. I'm asking why. Why would you do that? Um, I was under the influence of drugs. But you were eating at Sonic when this happened? Yes, ma'am. What drugs are you saying you were under the influence of? Uh, methamphetamine. Okay, so why did the meth make you strangle a cat? 
I'm not sure, ma'am. I also have mental health issues. And what's the mental health issues? Um, bipolar. All right. So again, we're back to the point. So I'm assuming, and correct me if I'm wrong, you were not on your medications? No, ma'am. All right. So you take meth. So how does that translate into strangling a cat? Your Honor, there's, there's no good explanation for strangling a cat. Um, well, no, I mean, here's the thing. Sometimes you're on drugs and you do certain things. So I'm just trying to figure out if meth caused her to strangle a cat or is there something else going on? According to the diagnosis from the psychologist, there was also some issues with bipolar disorder. She's When you mix being bipolar with meth and homelessness, it's all just a bad combination. Uh, I've asked her what her plans for the future will be. She's indicated she wants to work as a waitress. She eventually, once she's done with prison time, will live with her mother. She wants to avoid the bad people and the bad situations that she was involved with. Okay, so how does taking meth being bipolar equal to strangling the cat? As we said earlier, there's no excuse. There's but no, no I'm, I'm asking her. Sure. Like, what was your thought process? Because what I'm reading is there were two tabby cats running around. And so what go from two tabby cats running around enjoying themselves to double knotting a rope around one tabby's neck? I don't have an excuse, Your Honor. Well, I mean, I know you don't have an excuse, but I'm trying to figure out what was your thought process? I'm not sure what my thought process was at the time. Well, I mean, did you have a rope on you and go get a rope or how did that work out? I don't remember because I was on drugs. All right. Anything else? Okay. All right. I'm going to sentence you to four years in prison. You credit for any time served. There is to be no contact with any animals or children. Well, I should say, or minors. So you're not to have any contact with minors or children. Do you understand? Yes, Your Honor. Or animals. Yes, Your Honor. So what that means is if you decide to give birth and have a child, Child Protective Services, if they're doing their job, they're supposed to come in and remove that child. Do you understand? Yes, Your Honor. All right. Anything else with regards to sentencing? No, Your Honor. I'm going to show you what's entitled trial court certification of defendants rights to appeal. Did you review that with your attorney? Did you understand it? And did you sign it? Yes, Your Honor. Because this is a plea bargain agreement, because I followed your plea bargain agreement and because you waive your right to appeal, you do not have the court's permission to appeal. Because this is a felony conviction, you're not allowed to own or possess any weapons or ammunition. If you have a question over what a weapon or ammunition is, you'll need to speak to an attorney. Do you understand? Yes, Your Honor. All right. In just one moment. All right. Who is the man you were with at the at the drive in? Uh, Jonathan Smith. Jonathan Smith. Yes. All right. And there should be no contact with Jonathan Smith. All right. That's all. That's it, Jess. Thank you. You're welcome.